How's it going everyone? This is Donald Sinatra and in this video I'm going to explain uh, how you can record a podcast using Skype uh, pretty much for free. Besides the cost of your Macintosh, you're going to get GarageBand with your Mac, which comes free with it, uh, which is a recording tool, and uh, Skype as well. Skype is free uh, and the other two programs I'm going to tell you about are, are free, so you can really record a podcast for super cheap. Uh, this requires no hardware, except for the computer, of course, and also uh, a headset, or you can record with a separate microphone uh, and just use you know, a pair of headphones uh, to monitor your sound. Um, anyway, so to start out with, you're uh, going to be needing to download a program called LineIn, and another program called Soundflower. You can check out my blog at donaldsinatra.com. Uh, the post is recording a podcast with Skype and GarageBand for free. And right there, I provide links to these websites that provide uh, both of those uh, pieces of uh, software. Anyhow, um, so once you get all that collected, you have GarageBand, you create a Skype account, and you have LineIn and Soundflower, then you're pretty much ready to put this, uh, this shindig together. So anyway, I'm going to explain um, uh, by software how you start this thing. And we'll start off with Soundflower. Now one thing I want to let you know is when you install Soundflower, when you launch it from the dock here, it appears to not really do anything. This tripped me up at first. But what's happening is it's right here in your menu bar. And this is where you set the parameters for Soundflower. Um, so for Soundflower, there really isn't much to this program. What it basically does is it takes the channels and uh, it separates your audio in different channels so the way we're gonna set this up is is that uh, I record a podcast called the Ask Adam League and Adam and I meet on Skype record onto GarageBand uh, so Adam has Skype I have Skype so the call is free and I'm using Soundflower to take his sound and to take my sound and break it up into two separate channels in GarageBand and I'll show you how to do that so how I have this set up is pretty much how you want it to be. You want Soundflower Flower Channel 2 to be set to None Off, Soundflower Channel 16 to also be set to None Off. You're not setting any of these other parameters at all. Soundflower Channel 2, you want to make sure that your Channel 1 is None and Channel 2 is None. As well as Soundflower Channel 16, you want to make sure that both uh, all of Channels 1, 2, three and four are all set to none. Might seem a little strange why that is, but you'll see in a second what's happening. Now, uh, the second piece of software we're gonna go through is line in. Line in basically it allows you to run your sound through your microphone into your sound port. That's essentially what it does. It's it's a very light program. And it is an essential piece of uh, software for this setup. You can also download it for free Check out my blog, it's there, you'll, you'll find a link for it. It's called Line In. And so when you get Line In, what you want to do is you want to uh, select the input and the output. So for the input, an input device, I'm using the Blue Snowball microphone. So basically you select it from all these different inputs you have. So right here I have the Blue Snowball, that's my input device. My output I'm going to set it to Soundflower channel 16 and you'll see how that fits into GarageBand. Uh, in your advanced settings right here you want to click that and then what you want to do is uh, you know, have everything set to default but if your output device settings make sure that the left channel is selected as 3 the right channel is selected as 4. Click OK. Very important you do have to click pass through or else your audio won't really be going anywhere. So in order for Line to work, you can see my voice going right now because I'm actually using this setup uh, to record this video. That my input is going through Line In right now and it's going out of Soundflower and it's going right into, uh, you can see the level bouncing. Anyway, so we're going to move on to Skype and what you want to do with Skype is you want to go to the Skype pull down menu and preferences and you want to click the audio tab 
And for audio output, you want to select Soundflower Channel 16. And for the audio input, again, which is your microphone input, your blue snowball. Now the inputs can be basically anything. Like if you have a headset, like I had a Logitech headset, my input would be the Logitech headset. So this really depends on what kind of input that you're using. Um, for the ringing sound, that's the Skype call sound. Uh, Soundflower Channel 16 works just fine. That means when you're on GarageBand and you're calling somebody, you'll be able to hear the ringing uh, through GarageBand and it'll monitor through your headphones. Anyway, so for the fourth piece of software that you need, we're going to go to GarageBand right here. Now, I mean, the reason why I have a timeline going here is this is just a recorded podcast, but it's already set up, so I'm going to show you uh, all of the steps that you need to set up everything in GarageBand. What you want to do is go to the GarageBand uh, preferences. And then you want to select audio MIDI. And I have it set up as audio output. Uh, the audio output set up as system setting. And I'll show you what I have that. That's basically what your operating system is setting your output to. Your audio input, again, Soundflower channel 16. And the rest is all defaults right here. Um, so as far as the system settings go, you also want to make sure those are you have some selections there. Uh, click system preferences and then you want to go to sound and then sound for your output you're gonna select line out right your line out is going to be um, for your output this is really interesting right here because whatever your output is um, it can't be your speakers. Right now it's configured to my speakers. I have them shut off, but what I really want to do is select it to my headphones. Now what happens when audio recording is when you are uh, monitoring sound, you cannot have audio coming out of your speakers and leaking into your microphone. That'll create a feedback loop. Um, so when you see professional uh, people in radio uh, or any kind of studio situation, they're always wearing headphones. Uh, and so that's what you want to do here is if you have a headset with a microphone on it, you're good to go. Uh, but just make sure that no sound is coming out of your speakers. You have your speakers turned down. So you want to set your output to headphones. And what this means is that anything, any sound that's coming in or out of your computer, you'll be able to hear it on your headphones and it won't leak into your microphone. So select your output device to your headphones. And this could be your headset as well. Like I explained earlier, that had a Logitech headset and that headset it would come up here as Logitech that would be my output as well as my input now how I have it here uh, my input again blue snowball and you can see it's monitoring my my levels right here um, I do have my input volume cranked all the way that just happens to be how it's working right now um, and then you're you're done for system preferences so back to GarageBand there's a few things you want to do here in GarageBand. The first is you have your two channels. Right here I have Adam, and he'll be going in through Skype. Now in order for me to hear Adam, I have to have this uh, enable uh, recording button on, as well as for me, Don the producer. You have both of these uh, uh, recording enabled on. Now you can see that when I turned on the re record, you're actually seeing my levels bounce on the second track. And uh, yeah, so this means that when you record on Skype, um, it means that this channel will be recorded. So I want Adam to be recorded. I want myself to be recorded. Now, um, we'll so you can select both of these channels, well, one at a time. We'll select Adam right here, and you'll notice that in the bottom right over here, you have this Browse tab, and you have this field right here. So when you select the channel, you want to set these parameters right here. This What I've been telling you step by step and what to do here as far as separating the channels, you're going to want to put the input source to stereo 1 and 2 Soundflower channel 16. You have a billion choices here, but you really want to record stereo inputs for your, uh, for your talent. So. So for the person that you're going to have on the other end of Skype, 
input source, stereo, channels 1 and 2, sound flower channel 16. You need to have your monitor on as well. If you don't have your monitor on, you're not going to be able to hear your talent on the other end. Uh, also, this is a recording level for your talent, so if they speak really loud and you want to crank it down, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, Adam tends to be really good, though, so I've never had a, to monitor him. Monitor him. <laughs> anyway, so for uh, the host channel, which is me right here in this example, I'm going to select that. And these parameters change right here. Input source, stereo, channels 3 and 4, Soundflower channel 16. Interestingly enough, the monitor is off. I don't want to hear myself in my headphones. If I select it on, I will hear myself in my headphones. Some people like that. Uh, I don't. I just like to hear other people talk. I don't need to hear myself talk. I think it's kind of distracting as well. Anyway, okay, that's what we have going for recording a podcast with uh, Skype and GarageBand for free.